Alright, first question I have for you. Why did you choose to eat at Panda Express with all the other options available to you? Um, I chose to eat there because I really like the orange chicken and the rice, and that was what I was, I was feeling like having Asian food that day, so I chose Panda Express. Oh, okay. <laughs> what goes through your mind as you choose a seat? Normally, I just want to find the first open table, try to not be around too many people, or sit awkwardly with someone that I don't really know. So I'll look around to find a table that's empty, then I'll sit down. If not, I'll go outside and find a table out there, sit down, just wherever there's a spot for me where no one else is really there. So you, you don't like to sit around people? Are you not a people person or what? <laughs> I don't really like to share tables with somebody that I don't know because I feel inclined to like say something to them, but I don't know them so it's awkward. Okay. What particular method do you utilize when trying to get a seat? Um, normally I just look for the first open table. I'm not really picky about where I sit, just as long as it's open and there's just a chair for me. So you're sit. fine with dirt, you're fine with... Like, it being completely messy, chairs dirty, there's maybe something on the chair, but you're still <laughs> fine with it? Normally I'll try to find a clean table, but if I can't, and it's like there's stuff on it, I'll just like pick it up and throw it away, because I'm too lazy to go look around and find another table. Yeah. Why do you use your phone when you are eating? Because I don't have anything else to do, I'm sitting there by myself, so I'll look at my phone and just catch up with people, go on Instagram, check, respond to texts, just do things on my phone. I don't know, just because I'm sitting there by myself, I have time to do that. Alright. What about the music videos intrigue you since there isn't any audio being emitted? Um, I normally don't watch the TV because if I can't hear it, I don't like to watch it if I can't hear it because then I can't, normally it's like, a show or a sports center or something where somebody is talking and so if you're not able to hear it watching it you don't really get anything from that. Gotcha. What did you do to prevent a stranger from sitting next to you? Normally I'll put my backpack on my chair, across the chair across to me or the chair next to me or I'll just spread my stuff out on the table so that <laughs> there's no room for anyone. Why? Are you just uncomfortable with, like, random people just come to sit next to you, or do you feel like, in that moment, in that time, I just want to be by myself? Normally, if I'm going there by myself, I don't really want to be with anyone else unless I can see someone that I know, but I don't want a random person coming there to sit with me. And if I'm trying to get something done, I don't want someone random to sit down and interrupt like that. Yeah. What's going on through your head when you, when sitting? What's going on through your head when you are sitting and it gets crowded around your area? Uh, it doesn't really bother me as long as I still have my spot at a table and I'm there. As long as no one's like bugging me or getting in my way or getting in my space, I don't really care what's going on around me. So you don't mind cluster, you don't mind a whole bunch of people just all just around your area, there's a whole bunch of commotion, like everyone's trying to get through, there's not enough room, you don't feel like your air capacity is being taken <laughs> up by the surrounding people. Not really. It doesn't really bother me. Unless they, like, physically touch me or get in my way. Yeah. Yeah. How do you block out the noise and distractions around you? Uh, as long as I'm focused on, like, what I'm reading on my phone or what I'm reading, like, my homework or whatever I'm doing, like, I can focus on that and nothing outside really faces me. I love everyone's just like crowded around, there's like something really interesting going on, like maybe someone's dancing, and like everyone's like completely like focused on that, and everyone's talking and running over, would that be a distraction? Yeah, I would probably look up and see what they were doing, but I don't think I'd be interested enough to get up and go look. <laughs> Alright. What's going on through your head when you can hear conversations from the people next to you? Um, normally I'll have headphones in, so I'll just be listening to my own stuff, but if I don't and I can hear them, I probably won't listen because I don't know them, it doesn't really affect me, but if they're like loud and laughing and annoying or like making jokes or something, I might hear and like laugh, but I normally don't pay attention. Does that make you like remember things, say like someone's making a funny joke 
and you're like, oh my gosh, I remember when my friend made the same joke. Like, does that, like, do, yeah. do those conversations pretty much bring back memories? Yeah, I think, like, you see people and, like, you think of, like, oh, like, there's a family sitting there. Like, oh, like, I, like I remember, like, going out to you with my family or just, like, thinking about stuff in my family, like, what they're doing right now. Or, like, groups of friends, like, what my friends at home are doing. Um, yeah, just, just think about other people that I would be in the same situation with. Alright. How aware are you of other people around you? I'm not very aware. If I'm focused on, like, my phone or whatever's in front of me, I won't really be paying attention to anyone else around me unless they, like, come up and, like, tap me or, like, talk to me. Why do you think that is? You just feel like your attention span is, like, really strong, so when you have something in front of you, you're just 100% focused on that object or whatever you're doing, or is it because the people around you are not, you know, strong enough to, like, break your focus of whatever you're doing? I think I focus on, like, what I'm doing, and if I don't know them, then they would never break my focus, but if someone, like, came up to me and talked to me that I knew, like, I would obviously put what I was doing down and, like, talk to them and, like, not focus on it anymore, but unless it's somebody I know, I normally just stay to what I'm doing. Hmm. Are you more productive when your surrounding area is loud and distracting or peaceful and quiet? Um, peaceful and quiet. I get distracted. Like, if I'm with people I know and, like, they're, like, talking and, like, hanging out and having fun, like, I'll want to join in and, like, I can't focus on my own work. So normally I just have to be by myself or just, like, not around people that I know. So if, like, you're in a group and, like, everyone's studying, would that still be distracting? Would that urge you to want to, you know, talk and, like, talk about something other than what you're supposed to be doing or um, what? That helps me study, but then sometimes I want to talk, too, but everyone else around me is studying, so I stay quiet. Alright. Um, is it hard to concentrate when sitting next to a TV or when you are working with a group? Did I just ask you that? No. Um, no, not really. As long as, like, the TV's not too loud or, like, the group is staying focused on what we're doing, I don't really get distracted by it. Right. How productive are you studying while you're eating? Um, not very productive because that, I can't really do two things at once, so I can't do that, really. So what do you do? Like, if you need to do both, and, like, it's t you just don't have enough time, but you're really hungry, but you really need to get this assignment in, like, what do you do? Do I'll, you just stick to one, or... Like, I probably would just not eat. I would sacrifice eating to get the homework or assignment in or whatever, because if I'm eating and doing it at the same time, normally I just want to focus on what I'm eating, and I can't do both at the same time. Alright. What are some things you notice going on around you while sitting by yourself? Um, I normally I'll like see people out of the corner of my eye, like walking, picking, like walking to their table or like getting up, putting their stuff in the trash, getting their own food, stuff like that. Do you ever think like, oh my gosh, I like her outfit, it's really nice, or oh my gosh, like he has, he's really tall, oh my gosh, he's really good looking. <laughs> like, do you ever just like have a conversation with yourself inside your head? Yeah, sometimes I'll be like, oh wow, like that person is this, or like they're wearing that, or something like that, so yeah. Alright, that's all I have for you. You're good. Thanks.